Number 60. The label on a box of cereal gives the mass of cereal in two units, 978 grams and 34.5 ounces. Use this information to find a conversion factor between the English and metric units, and how many sig significant figures can you justify in your conversion factor? Okay, so we have a box of cereal, and on that box, there were two different masses. There was 978 grams and 34.5 ounces. So 978 grams and 34.5 uh, ounces. So they just want you to find a conversion factor between the English and metric units. So just quick, grams versus ounces. The metric units is the grams. That's the SI unit, so this would be the metric units. And the ounces would be the English system of units. Just two different systems of how to measure things. Okay, so we just want to find a single conversion factor between these units. Now remember, if we want to find a conversion factor, we just have to use a ratio, which means that it's one unit, unit number one, divided by, which means equal in this case, to another unit, unit number two. Now, the saying goes, or the example that I like to use is one dozen of eggs equals 12 individual eggs. But if you see, I use two different units. I use a dozen, and then I use an individual single egg. So one dozen, the first unit, is equal to, which is over here, equal this division line. For ratios, it means equal, and it equals 12 eggs. So now, all we have to do is just find a conversion vector between the metric unit, which is grams, and the English unit, which is ounces. And when we do that, we just have to set a ratio. Now, they didn't say specifically which one should be in the numerator, which one should be on top, so I'll just do both of them quickly for you. So, you could either say that 978 grams is equal to, so use that division, 34.5 ounces. And since they're equal to each other, you could flip the ratio. So you could say 34.5 ounces is equal to 978 grams. So now for each one of them, you just have to simplify by actually doing the division. This is where your significant figures comes in, a.k.a. your sig figs. If you don't know how to do your sig figs by now, go back maybe 10 or so questions. We've done so many problems with sig figs. So I'll assume that you guys know your sig figs by now. But in the first one, so I'll label this one as number one, and this one as number two. In the first one, there's three significant figures here, the nine, seven, and the eight. And there's three down here, the three, four, and the five. And remember, with multiplying or dividing, you take the least total of sig figs. So there's three and three, so your answer should have only three sig figs. So let's actually do this division. So in the calculator, I'm going to do 978 divided by 34.5, and I get a long list of numbers, so I will just put out a couple and then we will um, cut it to three sig figs. So it's 28.3478. Okay, now we just got to get it into three sig figs. So the two, the eight, and the three stay. The next number tells me if I should round or not, but that four is less than five, so the three will stay. So you have uh, 28.3 as your final answer, but we still have to keep this in a ratio. So you just use the same units as before, grams and ounces. But we just have to turn this number, the 28.3, into a ratio again. But you could turn any number into a ratio by just dividing by 1. So now I see that 28.3 of something is going to equal 1 of something else. And you keep the same units and their same placement. So since grams were on top, grams should be on the top here. 
and ounces should be on the bottom. So this ratio is basically saying that 28.3 grams equals one ounce. They're equivalent to each other. So box that off. That's your first ratio. Now, if you wanted to do the second one, still the same sig fig game. There's three up top here. There's three down here. So your answer should have three sig figs. So when we do the actual division, 34.5 divided by 978. And I just get more than three sig figs. So I will just put a couple of them. So 0, 3, 5, 2, 7, 6. Now we just got to simplify this into three sig figs. So remember, these zeros in the front, they do not count because they are leading zeros. Leading zeros never count. So I will start with the 3, 5, and the 2. The next number will tell me if I have to round. It's a 7. It's above 5. So this 2 will turn into a 3. So my new number would be 0 0.0353. We got to keep it as a fraction or a ratio. So I have to put this over 1. And then I just keep the same units. In this case, the ounces were on the top and the grams were on the bottom. So it has to stay exactly the same. Ounces on the top, grams on the bottom. And that's your second ratio. This one is saying 0 0.0353 ounces is equal to one gram. Box this off. That's the second one that you could have given as an answer. And just know that these two conversions are equivalent to each other. They're just flip-flopped. In one of them, it's grams on the top and ounces on the bottom. In the other one, it's ounces on the top and grams on the bottom. So when you start to do your conversion math, which will come a little bit later, you will use either one of them. It does not matter which one you use. You'll still get the same answer at the end. Guys, I hope this helped a lot. This was fun. If it helped you at all, hit that subscribe button. We got tons more answers coming your way. Um, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you all in the next question. Bye-bye.